Hello friends. In the previous class, we learned about Raja, a young boy like you, his family and what he likes to do. Do you remember Raja? Do you remember what he liked to do in his spare time when he is free? Do you remember what he likes to play? Did he have friends? Here is the worksheet that I gave you in the last class. The task was to write the correct word in the blanks provided. An example is given here. The children collect cards. Here are the answers of the questions that were asked in the last class. Angel puts jam on her bread. He thinks they walk. We drink. I talk. You make. Here in these cases, I and you, we use the plural form of the verb as well. This is something which we have to notice, especially she, one person, types. It looks. We ride. He cleans. The teacher observes. Nirikshikinu. So these are the answers. You may check if your answers are correct. And don't worry, even if they aren't, you may correct it by pausing this video and writing down the correct words. Why is grandfather running after Raja? Is he holding something in his hand? Let's find it out. And uh, here are the questions that I asked you in the last class. Beginning with the sixth one. Who do you like to play with at home? Here is the answer I wrote. I hope you also have written something. Haven't you? At home, I like to play with my brother, sister, pet. You may change this answer according to what applies to you. If you like to play with your brother, you may change the answer like At home, I like to play with my brother. Or At home, I like to play with my sister. Or At home, I like to play with my pet. What was the reaction of the grandfather when he was socked? In the shower. Socked is the word that you have to notice here. Nananya kudiruga. The grandfather became angry when he was socked in the shower. Here the word you have to look for is angry. Can you repeat the word after me? Angry. This means deshimula. The grandfather became angry when he was socked in the shower. Now you can guess why the grandfather is running after Raja. We saw it in the previous We saw it in the previous slide, didn't we? Why did Raja select the loft in the cow shed as his hiding place? Loft. Loft. What does this word mean? Do you remember the meaning of the word loft? Loft in the Arthanangal Kormiundo. He selected the loft because it was close to his house and he was afraid to stay in the fields when it is dark. It was close to his house. It was close to his house. The word close, which we sometimes use as an antonym opposite of the word open, turakuga, close, adakuga. But here, Pakshevide, we are using it in some other meaning. The meaning here is Samibam. It was close to his house. Close to his house. Samibam. We didn't get Samibam. And he was afraid to stay in the fields when it is dark. I hope you remember this word afraid. Afraid. Pedula. Ninth question was this. Grandmother was extremely worried when she knew that Raja was missing. 
pick out the sentences from the passage which convey this idea. Here is a sentence from the textbook. When I did not turn up, she looked for me everywhere in the house. Then she came out and called aloud for me, thinking that I was somewhere in the garden. Now let us find out why grandfather was running after Raja. The news spreads. The grandfather stood up and went outside and called aloud. Come Raja, come. I won't beat you. But I did not answer him, for I thought that he would beat me. Grandmother was angry and said, He won't come. You drove him away. I heard you say that you would beat him if he came home. Poor child, he is afraid of you and has run away. Grandfather called the servants and asked them to go out and look for me. They went out, but after a while returned to say that they could not find me. Grandmother started weeping. Grandfather started walking up and down the courtyard. The news that I was missing spread. Our neighbors came first, then our relatives, then the others who had heard the bad news. Many came to offer their sympathies to grandmother. Grandfather did not like this. He shouted, Nothing has happened to the boy. He's hiding somewhere. Can some of you go out and find him instead of wasting your time here? Here is a picture for you. You can see a big crowd in this picture. Some women are there. Some men are also seen here. What have they come for? What have they come for? What is grandfather doing? Can you guess what he is thinking? Grandfather enda cheyinathu? Try to answer these questions in English itself. You have to pause the video now and try to answer these questions aloud. Urakke uttarangal parayan shramikkuga. You can pause the video now. Pause. Oh God, please bring back my child. Oh God, please bring back my child. What is grandmother doing? You can clearly see that she is covering her face with her palm. She is lying down in a mat. And what is this woman doing? They are trying to console the grandmother console the grandmother and they are also fanning her do you want to know what happened then let's read the story some of them went out to search for me more and more people came and soon there was a big crowd but now grandmother had lost all hope of seeing me again enne kaanan pattumo ennulla ella pradeekshagalum nashichu she started telling the people what a good boy i was the search parties returned without finding me enne kandilla grandmother started weeping loudly the women in the crowd also wept the servants of the house joined the wailing the wailing they all acted as if i were dead I felt very sorry for my grandmother. I wanted to come out. Grandfather was a man of strong will. But I knew that he too felt very sad. He did not, however, lose hope. He stood up, turned in the direction of our family temple and prayed. Help me God, he said. Give me my child. I want him now. I cannot wait any longer. 
He then stood silent in prayer. At that moment, uncle returned. He learned what was happening at home. He looked around and guessed where I was. He came to the cowshed and asked me to come down. I came down. Uncle took me into the house. Grandfather had just finished his prayer and turned. As he opened his eyes, he saw me standing before him. He took me up in his arms in joy, hugged me and said, God heard my prayers and has given you back to us. This is your task. Try to answer these questions. Grandmother felt very angry with grandfather. Do you support the grandmother? Why? Grandmother Deshipatu grandfather and Redda Nangal grandmother ne support Chenundo. Why did grandfather lose his temper? Lose his temper. Deshipatu. Where might the people have searched for Raja? Why couldn't they find him? What would Raja say to his grandfather when he returned home? Here is some details about the author, the writer of the story. The writer's name is Keshavan Shankara Pillai, who is known as Shankar, was an Indian cartoonist and writer. Here you can read the details of the writer. Pause the video now and try to learn who he was and what his contributions were and what awards he won. Let's move on. Here I'm going to show you one of the cartoons of Shankar, one of the famous cartoons of Shankar. I want you to search in the internet or ask your elders to find out the name of that cartoon. Here it is. Funny, isn't it? Let's try to find out what he is called. Here are the vocabulary from this passage. Starting with the word guess. Please repeat after me and read it loudly. You should also read the passage loudly as well. So let's start with this word guess. The way we pronounce the word is guess. To try and give an answer or make a judgment without being sure. We call it uhikyuga in Malayalam. Can you guess the answer to this question? Hug. To put your arms around a person and hold him tightly to show that you like or love them. Please repeat after me. Wail. To make a long, loud, high cry because you feel sad or pain. That is all for today's class. Don't hesitate to call me if you have any doubts. And that is all for today's class. Thank you very much for watching.